Heidi, I'm so excited. This is one of my most anticipated roller coasters for 2019, and vertical construction has started. I'm absolutely thrilled to, I guess, announce and uh, look at the vertical construction for Steel Curtain. So a huge thank you to Kennywood Connection for allowing me to use their photos yet again. Um, we used some of their photos early in the season when they were making some footings for the coaster. And now they're letting me use their photos again for the vertical construction. So huge thank you to Kennywood Connection. I'm going to link them down below. Make sure you go follow them on um, Facebook uh, or even Twitter. And uh, check them out because they have some really awesome construction shots of uh, Steel Curtain and then even just uh, stuff for Kennywood. So definitely give them a check um, and go follow. Um, not much to discuss in terms of like what we can see inside the park. So these are shots outside of the park. But nonetheless, this thing is towering and it's not even anywhere near the height it's going to be at. So obviously people are going to be able to get some really awesome views of this coaster without being inside the park. Again, I'm so thrilled. So what a great angle of steel curtain supports. There's three support structures that are currently up that we can see. There's probably track and supports on site. Um, I've reached out to Kennywood to see what I can organize with Kennywood through the off season. I'm excited for a response. I really hope we can get some awesome stuff from Kennywood. But yeah, nonetheless, some awesome Shots of Kennywood supports going up for Steel Curtain. The yellow is very vibrant. I have a feeling this coaster actually will look really good in person. I know a lot of people weren't the biggest fans of the color scheme. People were saying banana um, or, you know, the black and the yellow should have been reversed. Um, the name they're not the biggest fan of. And I think this is one of those coasters that everyone's going to end up falling in love with once it's open. Um, and it's a great sign to see vertical construction starting. You know, it's November, vertical construction starting. Maybe there's a chance that this coaster will open on time. I know a lot of people are like, oh, will it open on time? Will it not open on time? SNS this, SNS that. Um, but nonetheless, vertical construction has started. Hopefully that means this coaster will be complete, you know, come March. Um, and testing will be able to start on time. Because this is um for a... Uh, how amazing this coaster is it is still a very small footprint and building this is probably going to be like a month to two month long project as long as all the footings are poured again i don't see what's inside the park so i don't know how far along they are in terms of footings and stuff like that but i have a feeling that they'll be able to get this coaster project done on time fingers crossed knock on wood um hopefully this will be done on time anyways i'm gonna link the video for steel curtain at the end of this video i know i have a lot of um canadians on this channel who don't know much about other parks and roller coasters so at the end of the video um i'm gonna have steel curtains pov playing for you guys just in case you don't know what it is and you can check it out i know my channel um has a lot more general public on it which i totally love um and thank you for watching my channel um so i'm gonna try you know being as informative as possible in my videos so if there's a project in another uh country or across the pond <laughs> in europe I'm going to try and uh, let you guys know when I'm talking about something, what it is, in case you don't. Um, but I assume a lot of you do know what Steel Curtain is. Uh, in a lot of my videos, I talk about how excited I am for it. But anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.